Which choice best describes the function of the underlined portion in the text as a whole? The following text is from Charlotte Fortin Grimm's 1880 poem, That Newport. Oh, deep delight to watch the gladsome waves, exultant leap upon the rugged rocks, ever repulsed, yet ever rushing on, filled with a life that will not know defeat, to see the glorious hues of the sky and sea, the distant snowy sails glide spirit-like into an unknown world to feel the sweet enchantment of the sea thrill all the soul, clearing the clouded brain, making the heart leap joyous as its own bright singing waves. So these two lines describe the waves, describing them as being ever repulsed, the ever rushing on, so that they're constantly moving forward, but they're always being stopped. So choice A says, it portrays the surroundings as an imposing and intimidating scene. This is incorrect because while it does describe it as imposing, it isn't correct to describe it as intimidating, because intimidating has a negative connotation, but the whole scene is described positively, so A is incorrect. B. It characterizes the sea waves as a relentless and enduring force. This seems to be correct because it the two sentences do say that the sea waves are ever repulsed, the ever rushing on, so this can be described as being relentless or enduring, so B seems to be the correct answer. C. It conveys the speaker's ambivalence about the natural world. This is incorrect because the two sentences describe the waves, not the speaker's feelings one way or another toward the natural world, so C is incorrect. D. It draws a connection between the sea's waves and the speaker's thoughts. This is incorrect because the two sentences simply describe the waves, and not to the speaker or his thoughts. So D is incorrect, and the correct choice is B.